This is Joe Gavazzi from Winning Sports Advice for the SBR videos. And this uh, Monday, February 1st, as we go into the home stretch of games in both NBA and college basketball. Those of you who were with us last Friday took advantage of our 3 0 against the spread record for Friday and Saturday. Your Prince of the Ivies, a big winner with Columbia Friday night over Dartmouth, as well as an NBA winner, and then coming right back Saturday night with Providence plus the points over Georgetown and an outright wire to wire winner. Today, let's first go to an NBA game and one of my favorite plays. It's the game between the Chicago Bulls and the Utah Jazz. And Utah on this one, a home team playing versus an unrested visitor. And if those guys are from the Eastern Conference, this has been like money in the bank over the years, way going back to the pick and roll days of Stockton and Malone. And we'll continue to ride that here. There's some good reasons for it. Let's look at the Chicago team first, still struggling to find an identity and maybe most importantly to play a good defensive game under first-year head coach Hoiberg. The fact that they're a little short on depth isn't helping them either. Miratek will be out tonight, Noah, and Dunleavy as well. Bulls come in here on a slide of 4-8 and eight, straight up, 3-9 and nine against the spread, just not getting it together at all. They're in the midst of a road trip, including playing last night, a dominating loss to the L.A. Clippers. Utah Jazz, on the other hand, are coming into their own under head coach Quinn Snyder, hard-driving coach. You remember him from the days at Duke. Well, he's got the team playing their best ball of the year, and they're in great scheduling spot. They've been playing no more than every other day and are now playing a third straight home game. The first of two were dominating confidence-building wins. They're now back at full strength with Gobert in the middle. He's their rejector, their defensive dominator. Derek Favors in that lineup for rebounding. And they're complemented by Rodney Hood, who's gone off for an average of 23 points in his last five games. This is a great trio, a great group of triplets for the Utah Jazz. As I said, we've got it all going for us here. Momentum in our favor here with the Utah Jazz. The home floor situation in favor of the Utah Jazz here. And, of course, the team dynamics in our favor as well. Play the Utah Jazz here, minus the four, four and a half points tonight. I think we'll come away with winner with this one. We'll talk to you real soon. This has been Joe Gavazzi for the SBR video team. Thanks for viewing today, and good luck to you out there.